Have you ever been so hungry you said, I'll just whip up something in a jiffy? Well, that's what three people did on a chilly winter afternoon in the inaugural MRE cook-off just outside the museum's Devil Dog Diner. For those who don't understand what MRE means, it's military speak for meal ready to eat. The MRE is a self-contained individual field ration for use in combat or other field conditions where organized food facilities are not available. In other words, no fast food joints anywhere in sight. The MRE cook-off gives museum visitors a taste of what it's like for Marines when they have to cook up something out in the field. And according to one of the judges, Brigadier General William F. Mullen, you don't always have a lot to pick from when it comes to an MRE. My first experience in military food was sea rations. Um, and then I, when I went to the Mountain Leader course in 1984, uh, they transitioned halfway through the course from sea rations at the original MREs. And frankly, those, were, those sucked. And uh, these are much better. So maybe these are higher quality MREs, but make no mistake about it, this is no Hell's Kitchen. That's for softies. This competition is for true culinary warriors. Each contestant is provided with two MRE packages they pull out of a box blind like drawing from a hat. You may pull out an ace, you may come up snake eyes. So what is General Mullen looking for in a top-notch MRE? Well, I was watching the, their technique of the way they were working with the packages and stuff, and Craig obviously had dealt with MREs quite a bit because of the way he opened the packages up and the way he was working at it. Uh, you could tell he had quite a bit of experience with it. Unfortunately, me and I, I don't think had much at all. And then um, John here on the end, it was kind of funny watching him because he's looking down at his packages going, I have no idea what I'm going to do. So <laughs> it was pretty funny. So after slaving for, well, minutes over a hot sterno can, it's time for the moment of truth. The decision rests in the hands, or rather the mouths, of the judges. And after some nervous moments and anticipation, event organizer Michelle Flynn announced the decision. All right, great. Great, this is our MRE cook-off. <laughs> Craig Allen from Headquarters Marine Corps. He has experience when it comes to MREs, and he says food temperature is the real challenge. Yeah, the real uh, hard part is keeping everything warm, because when you do make MREs in the field, you eat it in a stage, you don't mix things together. So you eat one pack while another pack's cooking. Yeah, so the real challenge is keeping everything warm all at once. But in the end, Allen's experience was the difference that put him over the top. General Mullen says determining a winner was tough. Craig's and John's were very, very close. But as I was saying, I think, I think uh, Craig cheated because he had the chicken pesto. And I mean, that's just good food. So a lot of it was luck of the draw on what he pulled out because I think that put it over the top for me and for, the, for Wally, the other judge. So. so competition number one is in the books. Craig Allen will hold the title for 2013, but who will step up to dethrone him next year? You'll just have to come to the museum in February to find out. From the MRE cook-off, Denny Hostetter, National Museum of the Marine Corps Public Affairs, Triangle, Virginia.